With four kids aboard, we needed to convert this passageway back to bunks. This also involved removing ballast to balance the boat and make room for tool storage and a new battery bank. We're finally ready to start putting it all back together. 18 months ago, we purchased a hurricane-damaged sailboat with the dream of sailing her around the world. Since then, we've been learning, laughing, and working harder than we ever have in our lives to make this dream come true. Thanks for joining our adventure. Did you say something? I asked you what you were doing. Building the battery box for the house bank. They're going to sit in here and you are going to epoxy it all in so it's all beautiful on the inside. I can't quite figure out what's taking so long. So, yeah, we were supposed to get this done first thing this morning. It's been several hours now. It always looks simpler to me. I'm like, put a back and a bottom and be done. Mm, that's turned into a lot more. Can you see a lot more there? What do you see in there? What do you see in there? I see... A back and a bottom. How's that? And other pieces. What other pieces? Underneath of the back and the bottom. Well, I had to support it with something. Well, I know, but it's just turned into a lot more than I thought. <laughs> just saying, there's still pretty much just a back and a bottom there. All righty then. Yes, there is a back and there is a bottom. But underneath that, I had to put supports for the bottom and, and a few places that went along the hole so you can't really see them and I have to have a notch here this is where the wires come through the floor and come up into here so I need to put a couple more cleats in here to hold this in place I guess I can do those on the outside so that'll be good do one there he talks to himself <laughs> doesn't everybody I thought everybody talked to themselves you mean you don't talk to yourself? <laughs> Out loud, <laughs> telling myself what I'm going to do. So we epoxied them. Do we need no. to paint the box? We epoxied the inside of the box. Yes, but do we need to paint it or do you think it's probably okay? It's probably okay. So the purpose of epoxying the inside of the battery box, um, did you show what you did with the Phillips and stuff. I was in such a hurry so that it wouldn't set up. I didn't. Any of these edges, we've also filleted with epoxy, with thickened epoxy, in a, a like a Ziploc bag with the corner cut off, like you would cake decorating, and squirted that in all the corners all the way around, so that essentially you want the box to be sealed, so that in the event that you have leakage of battery acid, it's contained in, a, in an area. It doesn't run throughout your boat anywhere. These AGMs shouldn't leak, but in the event one of the cases cracks or something, we should have this sealed as well, just for that reason. The previous batteries that were in here were Trojan lead acid batteries. When we bought the boat and looked at them, they were bone dry, completely toast but the entire floor that these batteries were sitting on was completely rotted away mostly from the battery acid. Making a craft project? Craft project. <laughs> uh. You want the speakers? Yeah. Yeah, they're in the front. What do you got to again? Weird sticks making another template for beadboard on this irregular shaped wall. It's supposed to be on the, at home. The speaker is supposed to be at home? No, the hot glue gun. Oh, is that your hot glue gun? Yes. Hers? <laughs> yes. Did she buy it with her own money? Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, where's our hot glue gun? It's at the boat, because Dad stole it. Huh? It's fun.
would be fine. Don't shock yourself. <laughs> she was better than you, dear. <laughs> she didn't even flinch. <laughs> You're a turd. <laughs> joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she is good. What Todd's talking about is I was removing stuff over here. Electric. And I asked Todd if it was, if he was sure it was disconnected because that was kind of making me nervous. And so he grabs it and goes, Zzz. <laughs> I jumped out of my skin. He laughed and laughed. He thinks he's so funny. Our fans think I'm funny too. I don't think that's going out the back back. For this templating process, Todd used sticks and I used white butcher paper. I think mine will go out the back hatch easier. <laughs> Yours will go out the back hatch in a garbage bag real easy too. <laughs> I, I can wad it up and blow my nose with it and unroll it and still use it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, babe. I don't think there's anything I can do to make that fit. Well, there is. Reminiscent of our last templating episode, Todd gets a little frustrated here. This is about as frustrated as you'll First see him. All, you can gently work on your end down there. It's breaking. Okay. I want you to put the camera down. Please put the camera down and bend this in the middle. We've been. Okay, so he put the template back together with the glue gun, but ultimately we had to cut the pieces in half to fit them back in the boat. We spared you the repeat of gluing and installing beadboard. If you'd like to see how to do that, check out our V-Birth videos. That's looking pretty good. Having this white in here has really brightened up this space. So now we work on the lid, which has to be attached to the side of the hull and Todd's figuring all that out and the angles with the side of the boat it gets a little complicated still smells like contact cement in here here Todd is using the small board to trace the shape of the hull to the board that he's going to cut this will help it fit nicely it's called scribing Something like that. Okay, so now I need to break out some epoxy and get gluing. Glue the backs. Or glue the edges and the bottom, yeah. Everything. Well, don't I need to epoxy the back side of that board before? We That's what I mean. The bottoms, the back, the cut edges, all around. Yay! I think we should call it a night. I do too. I do too. Looks good, huh? Yep. Almost looks like a bunk. Kids will be excited. My dad just went into the boat, so I'm gonna go get him and scare him. Ah! Oh, you scared me. Ah. <laughs> so scary. <laughs> I am putting in some cleats for this board to sit on. Is it fun? I don't know, is it fun? I don't know. It's working fun, I'd rather be sailing, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Necessary evil though, we have to get this done first and then we can go sailing. We learned that the boatyard wanted to move us. That meant making sure nothing was left where it would fall over. We took this opportunity to give the boat a good, thorough cleaning. We're moving the boat! Not yet. They are moving this one back there and putting it down. Um, and then look at us. Uh, but we had to abandon a boat now. We had to leave the inside of the boat. Dad? Mom? Where is mom? It's coming down the boat. There's mom. Ever so slowly. Where's the fun in doing what you 
there are dripping just from the dew on the deck that's running down and out through the tow rail. So the tow rail is leaking just with dew. Which means that in an ocean, healing and waves and wind is going to be worse. We don't want our children to have to deal with water in their beds if we can prevent it. <laughs> so we're going to have to do something about that. This might be the end of me today. I just can't even. Okay, so we've kind of got two choices. Okay, probably three. We could just ignore these leaks and deal with leaky boats. Lots of people are like, boats leak, no big deal. We're doing so much work on the inside that besides just being uncomfortable, like Todd said, I don't want to ruin the work that we've put into this by not dealing with these leaks. Right now, it's just this little section. We can't, we haven't found any water anywhere else, but the boat's not moving and the ocean's not spraying when that happens everything moves and wiggles and leaks you find leaks that weren't obvious when you're just sitting on the hard <sighs> looking to the Morgan 46 owners group we see several things that people have done the first thing is to recalk and we did that so the next option that people have done to a lot of success is to remove the tow rail redo everything. Pull the bolts, pull the deck to hull joint screws, reseal everything and put it back on. If you look at our video of fixing where the tow rail was broken, that is a major undertaking and Todd is like, I am not doing that. <laughs> and I don't blame him. So the one other option that somebody in our group did was just to fiberglass the tow rail onto the boat. Just cover the whole thing in fiberglass and make it part of the boat and he hasn't had any leaks since. I don't know. We're gonna have to think about this. Sometimes old boats and boat refits can bring you to your knees. Today is one of those days. We'll get through it. We always do, just one foot in front of the other. <laughs>